what is the hanged man in reverse about in the insight? There's a need to take on the perspective of the other. Oh, totality. <clears throat> Interdependence. Timing. Sensitivity. And complete and total presence, which is the lack of... I mean, when we asked how you see the connection, what we got was this card that shows somebody completely detached and not present. The insight, clarifying the insight, which is a need to take on the perspective of another person, is this card totality, which is about utter presence. Interdependence. Utter presence inside of interdependence. Wow. Hey Virgo, welcome to your love reading for February 2021. Thanks so much for stopping by. If it's your first time here, my name's Amanda. I'm at Luna Sing Tarot. If you're returning, thanks so much for coming back. I really appreciate your support. If the reading resonates with you, hit the like button so that it can circulate amongst others and consider subscribing to my channel. I do love readings and general tarot readings for each sign for each month. If you're interested in a personal reading, there's a link below in the description box. So check that out. All right. So today we're going to take a look at you, what you're bringing to the table. We'll take a look at your person, who you're thinking about, what they're bringing to the table. We'll take a look at the composite energies and we'll also pull a card of insight. Of course, we will clarify all the way through and pull a card or two of guidance for you toward the end. So stick around for that. I give it one last shuffle. Split the deck three ways and let's sync up. In the position of you and what you are bringing to the table is the Page of Pentacles. Oh, awesome. Making an offer of something real. Also admiring something, like really studying something that feels very tangible, very practical, very real. Um, pages are also about communication. In the position of your person, what they're bringing to the table is the star. They may feel unrecognized or <clears throat> they're, they're resisting some sort of healing or they're in the middle of a healing and it's not quite complete. I'm going to give you all the interpretations there. In the position of the combined energy, we have the eight of wands. There's a lack of communication between the two of you at this point. In the position of the insight, we have the hanged man in reverse. Um, a need for a new perspective. Right now, there's sort of a stubbornness around looking at it from the other person's point of view or understanding where they're coming from. Um, there's a lack of illumination here. It's sort of just stuck. All right, let's clarify. What do they think about you? Oh, hey. Ace of Cups. Now... This kind of came out in the reverse, the Ace of Cups. It was sort of sideways, but leaning more towards the reverse. I will read both of them. Ace of Cups is a new emotional beginning. It's like somebody that's coming forward and like, hey, I see a new start with you in love. Ace of Cups in reverse is that like basically the op opposite. Like this is not happening. This is sort of a stalled romantic venture. How do they see the connection? How are they seeing the connection at this time? Oh, here we go. Uh, justice in reverse. Something feels unfair to them. Unequal, imbalanced. The connection feels imbalanced, unequal. How do you see them? Oh, wow, these cards are just like flipping. Nine of Pentacles. Ooh, you see them as uh, independent, very singular. You want to make an offer. You're the one that's coming forward with the offer. It's like, hey, I have something here for you, or I have something here. You see them as the Nine of Pentacles. This is the single lady card. How do you see the connection? Oops. Oh. 
Oh, man. Needs healing. This person needs healing. Eight of pentacles in reverse. There's a lack of acknowledgement. How you're seeing the connection, there's a lack of acknowledgement. Like somebody's making an offer here. Like this man is rubbing this rose up and down her leg and she's, I don't know, she's just detached. She's, it's not like there's a lack of love here. It's just that she's, she's just thinking about something else. Her mind, her energy is engaged with something else. Not totally present. That's how you see the connection. This person is not totally present. This person needs healing. Needs, there needs to be healing for this person. They are not totally engaged with this new emotional beginning, this thing that you have to offer. Um, and something feels unequal. Uh, when they think about the connection, something feels unequal, like imbalanced. And that could just be in terms of the energy they're contributing to it, or your energy is not aligned. It's not matching up. It's not, you know, it's like, like somebody's giving more than the other in terms of the energy. There's a lack of communication here in the composite energy. Why are you not communicating? <clears throat> What's that about? What is this lack of communication about? Slow movement as well. What is the Eight of Wands in reverse in the composite energy? Let's clarify that. Mm, exhaustion. Just feeling extremely burdened. And this, somebody is, or both, because it's the composite energy. This lack of communication has to do with a burden, an energetic burden, an energetic toll, has to do with exhaustion. Something has been exhausted here. Somebody feels very tired or both of you feel very tired. When the two of you come together, there's a sense of exhaustion. What is the hanged man in reverse about and the insight? There's a need to take on the perspective of the other. Oh, totality. <clears throat> Interdependence. Timing. Sensitivity. And complete and total presence, which is the lack of, I mean, when we asked how you see the connection, what we got was this card that shows somebody completely detached and not present. The insight, clarifying the insight, which is a need to take on the perspective of another person is this card totality, which is about utter presence. interdependence utter presence inside of interdependence wow let's pull a card of guidance for you here i feel like um virgo you're coming forward with an offer you have you have something to offer that's very real you have a communication you have something to communicate that is very grounded very real you see them as very independent and potentially single, <clears throat> single lady, single person. And you see the connection as one in which there is somebody inside that is pretty detached, not present. They are in the process of healing. Um, I feel like there's a lack of recognition here. It could be regarding the healing um, that, that they're in the process of. They view you as um, sort of like a... <clears throat> false start in love, uh, ace of cups in reverse, like this new beginning has kind of come to a halt and um, they, they view the connection as, as imbalanced. There's something that's not fair or unequal where they are concerned. When you come together, there's just exhaustion and there's a lack of communication. There's a lack of movement, a lack of action, a lack of communication. The insight is just a need to take on the perspective of, of the other in order to gain illumination and um, utter presence inside of interdependence. Yeah, I do feel like that might be the complication here is that somebody is detached, somebody's not present. 
and that is the imbalance as well. We got Mother Mary, expect a miracle. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. Let's read about Mother Mary. See what kind of message she has for you. Virgo. Here we go. Faith is the light that illuminates your pathway. Without faith, the future looks very frightening. That's why it's essential for you to take whatever steps are necessary to keep your mind and heart filled with faith. Please don't give up hope on yourself or other people. Keep the candle of faith burning within your soul as that one small inkling of hope can eradicate the darkness of despair. Be the light that emanates someone else's gloomy hopelessness as well. For as you make others strong, it strengthens not only yourself, but the entire world. Yeah, I do feel like you're the one that is coming from the place of strength and needing to have faith. And this person that you're involved with, that you're thinking about, is really coming from a place of, of um, needing some sort of healing. They may lack faith, faith with this Ace of Cups in reverse. <clears throat> that is your card of guidance. Stay positive and have faith. I hope that's helpful for you, Virgo. I'm wishing you the best in February. Take good care.